Do you remember that part in Fast and Furious 7 where Dom and Brian break into the vault at the party? Now, it's been seven years since that movie came out, but we still haven't seen Lycan set a lap time or in a drag race or do anything that proves it's a real beast. This makes me want to ask, are you hiding something, Lycan? What is going on? Lycan Hypersport is made by Middle Eastern car manufacturer W Motors in Dubai. I'll let Brian give you the specs. Lycan Hypersport. $3.4 million, 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds. To get in a little more detail, the Hypersport has a claimed 780 horsepower with extravagant features such as gold stitchings in the seats, diamonds embedded in the headlights, and a holographic infotainment system. This feature allows you to interact with the car's interface without touching any surface. And if you feel it's still not worth $3.4 million, it comes with a free watch as well. But here's where it gets fishy. But before getting into that, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. W Motors claims that it's the first ever supercar to be designed and produced in the Middle East, and they also say that it is the fastest car in Dubai. But, 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 this car was built at Magna Stair in Torino, Italy, and the engine, transmission, suspension, and in fact the whole chassis are designed and produced by German manufacturer Ruff. And they aren't even bespoke parts. They're all pulled from the Ruff CTR3. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of the CTR3, which has a price tag of $750,000. But does that mean the Lycan is a $2.6 million body kit? But let's just ignore this fact for a minute, because this is literally nothing compared to what's coming next. It's got suicide doors, there's vents all over this thing, and a mean-looking face. Typically, everything an expensive supercar has. If you look at the promo video of the Lycan on W Motors' own YouTube channel, almost none of them show the car with the engine running. That's weird, right? Of the little footage W Motors does have, the clips are ramped up to a higher speed, literally making the car look faster than it is. It feels like W Motors is trying to hide something. There is something about the car they don't want us to know. Many of the YouTubers that have been allowed to drive this car have never really been allowed to speed the car. And there's no footage anywhere of anyone thrashing the thing or even just flooring it off the line. That is exactly where you might start to think that Lycan Motorsport is a scam. Because if they're not going to show us how good the car is, it must not be that good at all, right? But wait, when you dive a little deeper beyond first impressions, that's where the story gets wild. I don't think W Motors are really sure about the horsepower of the Lycan. They claim that the Lycan makes 780 horsepower from a flat six engine. And here's a marketing video that says 750. So which is it? Did they make three versions of this piece? I guess that's why their website says the car does 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 2.9 seconds. Their official teaser says 2.8. It may not seem a lot when it comes to speed, but accelerations? That's a huge deal. Three tenths of a second is a big difference. For example, that's the difference between a $200,000 Porsche and a $1 million Porsche. But let's say maybe it was just the marketing team screwing up with typos. But one thing you can't screw up is how many you have sold, when you only made seven of them stamped with cool-looking Arabic numbers on the engine bay. In that documentary series on W Motors' YouTube channel, they state that in December of 2013, the first Lycan was sold to an undisclosed Middle Eastern buyer. But I don't think that's what happened. Here's footage of number one of seven in Monaco in 2014 being driven by the W Motors CEO. Maybe their anonymous buyer just let them borrow it, and borrow it again to take it to Monterey in 2015, and then let him paint it red in 2016, and then let these YouTubers borrow it in 2017? This car is making more rounds as a promo car than a customer car. Comparing the cabin to Pagani Herrera, you start to see what a multi-million dollar car should look like. The Lycan has got me questioning so many things about it. W Motors also stated that they were starting a motorsport division in Birmingham, where they'd be competing in GT racing by 2017. Where's that? All this shady business combined with the fact that 70% of W Motors' revenue comes from consulting. YouTuber Mr. JWW shot a pretty sick video with the Lycan, a Ferrari 488 and a McLaren 650S driving up a closed road in Ras Al Khaimah. 
After that video, he said that the Lycan couldn't be in most of the shots because of overheating issues. Now, I'm not an aerodynamicist, but I'm pretty sure if your bodywork is just for looks and doesn't funnel air to your radiators to cool your rear-mounted engine, it's going to overheat. After this, I don't think it's a stretch to wonder if this thing has ever seen a wind tunnel. But you know what? After putting a lot of thought into it, I don't think the Lycan is a scam. The Lycan is not even a hypercar in the first place. First, it is a Veblen Good, and then it is a hypercar. What's a Veblen Good, you might ask? In simple words, Veblen Goods are what people think are symbols of status. Because if you analyze it carefully, the aesthetics of the car is what makes it stand out from other cars, which are probably twice as fast and are one-tenth of its price. The car does what it's supposed to do. It's unique and rare. It looks stylish, and it's a status symbol. It may not be our type of car. As a car guy, I would never want diamonds in my headlights. Certainly not Dom Torito. Turns out that display room in the Dubai high-rise was actually the right place for this car all along. I have a hard time wrapping my head around buying one of these, because even if luxury and glamour was your style, there are more luxurious offerings from Pagani, Rolls-Royce and Bentley. But I don't think that I could justify even buying one of those. This car is just expensive for the sake of being expensive, but I think it's served its purpose well and gained the attention and clout over the years. What do you think about this car? Comment down below. We would really love to hear your opinions on this. Drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.